Hey there, I'm a DIY track guy. This is my humble garage and today I install a mod to take care of my bum. If you enjoy watching me make a mess of basic mechanics, common sense and language skills, please like, subscribe and drop a comment. Before we install the new seat and rail, let's see how much headroom we have with the stock seat using the standard measurement tool. Just kidding, I got something else. In my comfortable driving position without a helmet on, I'm just under the bar, and with a helmet on, I'm over it. Let's see what happens when we get the new seat in. These are Nagisa Auto's sliding super low seat rails for an NA6 Roadster or MX-5 Miata. I had these overnighted from Japan. Actually, I got these from Toge Factory out of the States. I'm not sponsored by them, and it took over 12 weeks to get here. Check out the cool Japanese stickers and full color instructions. And thanks to Dave and Pete over at Speed Academy for recommending using the seat rail. They used it in their Miata YouTube Track Challenge build series here. And this is a genuine Brid Zeta 3 racing seat that's been patiently waiting in my stash for just such an occasion. Its FIA certification has long expired and it does have some wear here and there, but it's still in great condition and I love it. And because the certification's expired, you can't use it for sanctioned racing, but it's still good for track days. And if you're skeptical because there's a lot of fakes out there, you can tell this is a genuine article by the little details. Now let's get the stock seat out of here by removing the four 14 millimeter bolts. I like how the rear mounting bracket has these angled slotted holes. All right, I don't know if you can see this, but I'm having some trouble with the outboard slider making contact with the vehicle's chassis right about here. That's preventing the seat from sliding forward and backwards smoothly. The seat rail kit comes with a number of these washers. I'm gonna use two each on the front two corners to shim up the bracket. Hopefully that provides enough clearance for the slider to work properly. And since the bracket has slotted holes on all four corners, I'm gonna push the seat in towards the transmission tunnel to make clearance on the outboard side of the seat. And let's not forget to torque these down properly on all four corners to 37 foot-pounds. And here we are with the new seat installed. Let's check out the headroom. This is my comfortable driving position and I'm a little bit lower than I was in the stock seat. And with a helmet on, I am sitting up a bit high, touching the bar. Depending on the track day organization, this may not pass the broomstick test. So let's be honest, the only reason I did this mod was for the JDM street cred. The seat's not fitting as well as I'd hoped. I'm sitting up a little higher than I'd like, but I can't get the seat any lower because the rear bum scoop portion of the seat is contacting the inboard seat rail. Also, the outboard shoulder bolster is making hard contact with the door panel here. Those small issues aside, it's common wisdom that a good fixed back racing seat can improve your lap times by holding your body in a more fixed position, allowing you to focus on the finer details of driving and what the car is doing under you. That's why I love this Brid seat. It fits me really well, and this is the third car it's gone in. And finally, about the Nagisa Auto super low sliding seat rail, despite the somewhat unsmooth slider operation, I think this is one of the best yet. I've tried a few other aftermarket sliders like Sparco and Corbeau, and they mount the seat up a little higher, and the slider operation is at least as difficult as this. Also, it's important to know that the Nagisa Auto slider locking mechanism is only on the inboard rail. The outboard rail doesn't lock into place. So consider that in your buying decision. So that's all for the most useless garage. And as you can see, other than those small issues, there's literally no downsides to running a fixed back racing seat. You're awesome. I'm useless. Thanks for watching. Oh God. Oh. Jeez, my back. I lost my shoe.